I know what you're thinking, Tony. How the mighty have fallen. But this is just a temporary blip, my man. Okay. Oh, don't be all touchy. I know I said some nasty things about this being your fault and all, but hubris is a nasty, nasty bedfellow. Almost as nasty as termites. And trust me, I've tried both recently. Wait. You and me are on our way back. I never went away. We're in this together, amigo. No, we're not. Please. Please? Please? Forget about it, buddy. It's all your fault? Pathetic. Ten percent. Ten percent of what? This? Oh, you're too kind. Not of this. Of something really big. Come. I'll tell you about it on the drive. I hope you have your car. Mine's in the, uh, uh, shop. Yeah. Uh, Tony, transportation would be a boot. Head for the airport, Tony. We don't have a minute to lose. Oh, yes. This is one of my better plans, for sure. I never knew I had it in me. Even Avery would be proud. Tony, my ex-mentor, Avery Carrington, is flying into town today. It's come to my attention that he's working for the Panlantic Corporation. They'll do anything to get primary in the state. We have to get hold of his plans to acquire land. Come on, Tony, get after him. Scientists are boring dorks who never have any fun. Disembowel animals time after time for money. <laughs> Panlantic must have enjoyed the cartel to protect Avery. Thank you. 